What I don't understand is um, why a lot of my own people don't see that the is politicizing us and using us to pass laws that aren't going to actually benefit us. I I feel like they're like a lot of us are blind, you know, with as far as speaking English or Spanish. I I couldn't imagine going to China and not learning the language. How would I go find where the bathroom is or any other country? Get a, yeah. I, and but yet, but I don't think people should not speak the language. They could speak it in their house, but how would they communicate with their neighbors? You know, I, I, I I'm wondering when Amer being proud to be an American became racist when America doesn't have a race. You know, I'm wondering exactly the same thing. I'm wondering exactly the same thing. I think a part of that is because you have people, we've now heard from two faculty members at this university who have said that if you hold the opinions that you and I hold, that we are fascist, we are racist, and we are committing violence against Latinos. Apparently you're committing violence against Latinos. I didn't know this. You're apparently self-flagellating or something like that. This, this is an opinion held by two w w white liberal people who are teaching at this university. And I point them out because it creates a culture that stifles free speech. The only thing that we can possibly do is speak up and look them in the eye and convince our neighbors and not allow them to bully us and shut us up. But it looks like nobody's going to bully and shut you up. So that's a very good thing. And I, I find it funny that these two non-Mexican uh, professors are trying to speak for me. I don't need anybody to defend my race for me. I wonder how many uh, Mexicans that they help on a daily basis, if they're buying flowers off of people uh, on the side of the freeways, or if they're judging people like me, you know, when, when we walk by them. You know, I, I get judged on my race a lot by these people, but yet in these kind of uh, forums, they pretend, they pretend to defend us, and it's very hypocritical. Like I'm standing in the back while you're trying to answer questions and they're screaming, uh, uh, don't interrupt her as they're interrupting you. And, and the, hip, the hypocrisy is real. And I just want to say that not everybody of my race thinks like they do. You know, there's, there's a bunch of us who are waking up and uh, I just want to let people know that, you know, we're, we're not all a, a, a monolith. You know? Of course, everything you've said is absolutely right. I wish, I think unfortunately those professors left so those professors didn't show you the courtesy that you showed to them. You listened to their question and the answer. They didn't show you that same courtesy. I'm not surprised at all. Generally speaking, white liberals are very good at being offended on behalf of other people. They never ask the other people's opinions. They ever ask what they feel about it. They're just very good at, at unfortunately, exploiting racial and sexual and identity to push their own agendas regardless of the consequences of those policies on the people that they're pretending to help. And in the case of illegal immigration, this leads to widespread violence, sexual violence and, and violence for 70% of people who cross that border illegally. It's, it's disgraceful and it, it's, their, it's the way that they conduct unfortunately. Yeah, great questions. <laughs>